Hello, today I will be showing you how to set up free domains. Now, the thing about it is that uh, we will be using a website called Afraid DNS, uh, domain name service, Afraid domain name service, and what it does is it uses public domains that are free, uh, but you use subdomains of it uh, due to demand, right? There are going to be a lot of people wanting free domains so we, we're gonna have to make them subdomains so to get there what I normally do is I go to the Google search machine right Google and you would look something up like afraid DNS domain name service so you go to the website for me it's usually the first one if you need the address I guess I'll put it in the uh, description sign up free right at the very bottom and notice on the left, uh, you were signing up to be a member. And notice on the left, you have a bunch of uh, links to different parts of the website, uh, and even this FAQ, which is pretty good. And this is, there are different levels uh, that you can buy uh, for more flexibility in your uh, web service, in your domain service. Um, and it works in the same way as any other, like Namecheap or, um, that's probably the only one I could think of right now, but yeah, and, and you can do different types of records and pointers, and you, you could just start off by putting in your information, right, uh, I'll make something up, uh, let's see, password, Hopefully it doesn't exist already, and that I don't know what. And these are uh, these are kind of tough sometimes. N J M L W. Okay, let's see if that worked. All right, so you have to wait like ten seconds, I believe, and it'll send you an activation number, or whatever. Right? Uh, is that it? No. So it takes a little bit, usually, and we'll see. There it is. Okay, we click on this to activate. Yeah, I should know this. And you are already at a place to create a domain. And remember that when you make these domains, it's okay to show the um, IP publicly. So this page right here where it says add subdomain is the same one as clicking here to uh, subdomain right here see so like you go to main menu and you see all of this is this is the same thing as subdomains so let's go to add a subdomain and how this works you could choose the type of pointer you want to create the actual subdomain the domain itself and the destination as in an IP or maybe some kind of record if you were to do these different ones like a text record or a mailing uh, forward where you mail where you forward it to a mail server right and this is mail servers whenever um, somebody sends a mail to the address it will forward it to the mail server so you can use GM, gmail mail servers you can also do text records for returning um, different types of strings or keys right to your subdomain so what is a subdomain and a domain right you kinda need to know that to figure it out let's say you have google.com right and you want to uh, go to a domain within the domain so this google.com is a domain but you want to go to cloud.google.com and what that is is a subdomain that actually is separate from google.com so if we go to cloud.google.com we should go to their cloud website which is separate than google.com essentially that's what we are doing with this so we could go to chickenkiller.com right chickenkiller.com and there it is right and it says it's a public domain being used for free DNS great so that means there are people that have 
uh, subdomains. Let's see if someone made one on Jesus, right? Uh, nope. Uh, Apple. Let's try Apple. These are subdomains, and they are not currently hooked up to any type of server or web server. Um, and remember, when you use these subdomains, they work with Minecraft. So when you do something like moo.com and you were to do something like mc, that would be mc.moo.com and then you send it to the Minecraft server or the seven days to die server or the Rust server or the web server for making a website, it's all possible, okay? And for that, just make sure you have it on a record. Um, so the domains that are available for these subdomains are right here. Many more available. Uh, I guess we have to click on shared domain registry. Okay, so here are all of the domains that are free. And there are a whole bunch of them. You have a lot of choices. Look at this. 550, 563 pages like this of free domains that you can use to just make whatever type of server you want. So have a go at it. Uh, let's let's create a subdomain just to see what it does exactly. So we'll we'll create a chicken killer like uh, Minecraft one two three chicken killer. This goes. This is automatically defaulted to the computer that you're using to access the website. If you had um, Google Cloud or AWS, you'd use those IPs on that instance, right? On that virtual machine. The ones that they give you on AWS or Google Cloud or Azure, whatever, you were to copy and paste that IP address into here. So then you would put your, this thing right here, I, that looks hard, that looks hard, that looks hard. Frito, okay, or is that a Q? I'll take a chance, Frito. And it was a Q, okay. Um, Goo. Or is that a C? Oh my gosh! If I spend a long time on this, it'll be. Y'all could skip ahead, I guess. Okay, it's already taken. Great. Um, HG. And there are a lot taken because remember there was like 25,000 of these. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely skip ahead. DTPW. Oh no. Okay, finally made it. All right, here's what you got. So you get the subdomain, the domain, right? The whole thing's a subdomain. You have an A record that points to your local IP address or any address that you want. And you can also add on top of that, oh, I don't have to remember it, Minecraft123HG. Then you can add on top of that, let's say we do a mail server, right? And we would do something like gmail or mail server dot gmail dot com then it goes to that server right you add it it goes under it and you have two of them or you were to do something like text and you were to create some type of key for SSL right one two three whatever it is and here you go again Ooh, that looks easy e e f a a x Okay, there we go. So now you have a text record, an A record, and it goes to this address and gives you this key. And it has to be in parentheses. I don't know why, but it does. All right, let's see if there's anything else. Um, remember that when you have this IP, it's gonna be public anyway. So that means you could take this uh, subdomain and uh, yeah, this is just additional stuff that will be useful to you. So I don't have anything running on my computer. So 
let's do um, google.com what is the IP right of a URL that's right just look this up what is an IP URL find IP of a website so you just notice that this is all public so you check the uh, IP and there it is right there so no matter what you do your IP is going to be public the whole hide your IP thing when it comes to web servers is a myth okay uh, port forwarding when you create a web server on let's say your um, computer at local machine you're going to have to uh, port forward from your router so and browsers automatically go to port 80 so port forward 80 on your computer run Python Flask, Django, XAMPP, whatever whatever backend you're using uh, just make sure that the port that you host on is open in your router and you'll be able to do this um, and you can also put a port when you're like doing Minecraft you go into the network let's say it's minecraft.apple.com as the subdomain you can put a colon and do 25665 or whatever it is uh, on the uh, Minecraft uh, IP or you can even put different web servers or seven days to die with 8080 you know 5000 whatever and that's how you choose the port you can have multiple servers of different types on different ports so you could have on your local machine a Minecraft server on 25665 or whatever you can have a web server on 80 you could have a seven days to die on 8000 and you can have another flask um, server on 5000 whatever as long as the person that you're trying to reach over the server knows the port and he puts it in uh, to the address like this the subdomain will work let me check I'm recording thank goodness I'm recording um, okay and that is it I hope you learned something you just play around with this try it with some cloud services uh, Minecraft hosting whatever you want to do uh, this is free you can also pay for membership um, where is it yeah you can pay for membership right here and you get a bunch of different types of uh, extra features but I've never had to do it and it's always worked for me just just free the way it was and notice that this is an old website 2007 alright I hope you learned something